Oh, I just love those fun musical numbers. Okay, we're going next to the Nine Inch Snails. They're still not here yet, sir. What? Where are they? What are they doing? Crawling? In a word, yes. Oh. Then two buns and a beaker. You be a beaker. Hello, and welcome to Muppet Lab, where through the application of science, we bring tomorrow's yesterdays to you today. <laughs> Earlier on the program, Mr. Sam Eagle delivered a stirring editorial lamenting the lack of heroes in our society. Uh, we here at Muppet Labs agree that society could really use a hero right about now, so we built one. Beaky? Beaky? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our robot is just like the 16th president in every way. Uh, except for the nuts, bolts, wiring and stuff. Father, mm -hmm. so, our forefathers. Oh dear. Our forefathers. Our uh, forefathers. We've had sixteen fathers. We seem to be having a minor problem. Oh, oh, we seem to be having a major problem. Oh dear. I've been around a lot of rock musicians, and you know I've seen some crazy stuff. This show's so weird. Well, let's see. We have a crazed robot. <laughs> Which way the little cannonball room? Oh, oh, it's just down the hall. Oh, thank you. And talking cannonballs. No, Paul, I'd say this is a pretty average show. Clifford, we've taken care of it. We've zapped the Mr. Lincoln robot uh -huh. with these powerful rays, and in doing so, have diminished his strength by a factor of three. Me, me, me! Yes, yes, I don't think we'll be seeing much of Mr. Lincoln anymore. Oh. Or maybe we'll be seeing him more often. Oh. Uh, uh, Beaky, oh, did we set the ray for diminished threefold? Or increase threefold. I was afraid of that. Uh, Clifford, uh, would you happen to have any nuclear rods on you? Oh, man. I must have left them in my other pants. Oh, darn. Baker? No. Oh. Did you see that stiff, lifeless, robotic acting? By Lincoln? No, by the rest of the cast. Oh. Oh. Actually, I like Lincoln. You should like him. You voted for him. No! Yeah! <laughs> you know, I've seen a lot of cute kids, but this next act is so cute, I just melt like a fat pad of butter on a short stack of flapjacks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Pompano Beach, Florida, the Whipley Triplets. They're, they're adorable. Paula, I know it's time for your closing number, but I can't let you go out there with that crazed robot Lincoln on the loose. About my routine. It's too dangerous. I will not let you do it. Okay. Bye. What? Uh, what happened? Nice going, Clifford. We got five minutes left in the show and no closing number. I didn't think you'd actually leave. Oh man, this is terrible. Guys, listen up. I thought it over. I've never let anyone down before, and I'm not about to do it now. Don't worry, Clifford. I'll go take care of that robot Lincoln. All right. Hey, Paula. Paula? Hey, what about a little kiss for good luck, huh? Yeah, sure. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. She digs me. <laughs> Nobody loves robot Lincoln.
like our fabulous guest star, Ms. Paula Abdul, who took a disaster and turned it into a rather nice closing number, don't you think? Yeah. Oh. 